This video is sponsored by Ghostery, a free browser plugin which makes privacy easy. There's literally no gimmicks, it's two steps away from protecting you. But you can learn more about my thoughts on Ghostery in a few moments. Okay, so if you've been following my channel, like the duration of 2022, you've probably realized and seen me just harp on the realism behind getting started in cybersecurity and cybersecurity as a career. Now, in this video, I'm basically gonna be doing the same exact thing, so you can just click off if you don't really care about this. So cybersecurity, it rides in hype on buzzwords, on trends, and there's a lot of BS in this industry that you have to take a look at and really navigate through. This video has been inspired by Alexis over at Hackersploit, who talked about trivializing cybersecurity or stop trivializing cybersecurity. And there was a lot of good points that he made in the video. I suggest you go check that out. Uh, and this is more so just an evangelization of his message and kind of what he talked about in that video. Okay, so yeah, self-explanatory. I think a lot of people know kind of what the hype part of cybersecurity is, but if you take a look at security companies and we'll just use content creators as examples on social media, what you'll find is a lot of people talk about maybe one area of cybersecurity and okay, I just wanted to clarify, this isn't all content creators I'm talking about. There's just like a certain subsector of them and I'm not going to name them, but you know, when we're talking about, you know, John Hammond, IPsec, Pwn Function, Live Overflow, those people obviously they know what they're talking about a lot more than I do and so I just wanted to clarify this isn't just all content creators on YouTube. They tried to make that a trend. Now, in particular, this has nothing, you know, no harping or anything on, on a true hacker, but a lot of people talk about red team or hacking, and they trivialize it in a way that they make it sound like, you know, as a career, you're going to get high paying salary to hack into Fortune 500 companies, and you're just going to be hacking all day, and you have the anonymous mask and the dark terminal screen, and, and there's a lot of marketing behind that, but uh, specifically in the content creation space, that content actually does really, really well. There are, you know, plenty of content creators out there who are extremely knowledgeable in maybe, uh, you know, some some particular blue team area, and they're not going to get nearly as much traction as someone who's going to talk about brute forcing passwords using Kali Linux, right? Uh, it 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 it's so simple, but that's just the reality of YouTube, or you know, the reality of content creation. Now, that's, again, not to harp on anyone who creates that content specifically, if you're really trying to get into cybersecurity as a career, and maybe not so much as just like a hacking as a hobby, but just actually making real money and having a job out of this, the industry is going to be a lot different when you, you know, step foot in your first job. Oftentimes, the job is going to be this, you're going to wake up, you're going to go to meetings, maybe go through some ticketing systems, triage alerts, if that's what your job is, do some reporting and documentation, and, you know, maybe call it a day. And you're going to be sitting at your desk in front of a computer screen, eight to 10 hours a day. Is that fun? Well, for some people, they're fine with that. Others, they would be driven nuts from just like sitting down all day. So security is not going to be about brute forcing passwords or getting domain admin. You know, that's one component of it, but that's not the whole picture of cybersecurity when you're talking about it from an enterprise environment. A little bit of a side note, what I've learned is that security, it, it, it's not so much that it's, you know, fully a technical issue. It's also a culture and people issue. You have to be willing to work with people and people are all going to have different types of opinions and you have to compromise with them. Okay, so you know it isn't high, your privacy, but it's important. And that's a really dumb transition. Anyways, Ghostry, a free open source browser plugin with over 100 million downloads. The Ghostry Privacy Suite protects your data across all websites. It you know uses those standard features that all privacy plugins use, but it uses additional tactics such as AI anti-tracking, which I know sounds very buzzwordy, but yeah, it's legit. It's two steps away from enabling privacy across all your websites and searches. There's no gimmicks, just go use the link in the description below and you can add the extension. Now the team over at Ghostry did send me a trial version of the Ghostry Privacy Suite, which comes with a whole set of features such as the Ghostry Dawn browser, the Glow search engine, and then the, of course the browser extension plugin. Now let's be honest here, I think a lot of us want to stay with the mainstream browsers because of you know the support and capabilities that they provide, but there is good news. Ghostry Dawn, it sits on top of Mozilla Firefox, which is my daily browser. So you can still add your 
their favorite browser extensions. And then there is the Glow search engine, which is a privacy first search engine. And then there's also other features such as anonymizing your data and it has cool reporting features. So if you're interested in this suite of privacy tools, it's less than $5 a month. Regardless, you should just download that plugin 100% free. And yeah, onto the video. If you could switch over to like tools and vendors, Everyone's trying to implement a zero trust network today. They all have zero trust network tools. You have to think about uh, the buzzwords and the acronyms and the trends that you know companies and, and security vendors are trying to push on you. Are they really, do they really have substance or is it just like, oh, this is the new thing, go, go after it and you know, sell. People, they're just trying to sell you things. I'm guilty of it myself. Look, I created a course before, have Dibuda merch. When people are riding on hype, they're oftentimes just trying to gain the views and the subscribers or the sales. So as a you know new entry level cybersecurity individual here, what I can say is that cybersecurity, it really, is, it's not a lot of what people on the content creation space, security vendor space are gonna talk about. It's, it's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of research. It's a lot of collaboration, and um, as a career, there's a reason why that dollar amount or that salary is particularly so high. Um, there is a particular rate of burnout. How do we uh, navigate this? You know, is people who maybe are really actually trying to get into the industry question really get into the mind of someone when tr when someone is like trying to prove that they know things and technically a lot more sufficient or superior than you? Just question them. Uh, you know, try to understand exactly where and why they came to that conclusion. The second strategy or, or way is taking a look at, well, I'm going to say it, the fundamentals. Listen to those who really are experienced and who are going to be authentic. Like those who actually are talking about cybersecurity in a non, uh, you know, buzzwordy or hype way they're typically very experienced and they're typically people who don't need to push and sell you something i know this video has been a conglomerate mess of nothingness but i wanted to talk about how cybersecurity it rides on hype so know how to navigate that hype and actually see the real substance behind um all of that hype whether that is you know a trendy new thing going on Really, you know, it's it's important that you keep in mind the fundamentals and that you question what is going on. That's it for today's video. I hope you've been sort of kind of got something out of this. And yeah, until the next time, have a good day.